Today is April 29th and my psychology teacher opened up her final exam early. We don't have finals until two weeks from now. I think like May 13th is when my um, semester ends. So she opened them up really early and I should be done with the class sooner. But the problem with that is originally when we first started the class, she said that there wasn't going to be a final exam because we get tested enough. So she was just going to do like a movie and then we would discuss the movie because it's psychology. So she so well, so since we're not in class anymore, we are going to be taking a test now. But the only problem with that is, is she didn't tell us anything about the test. She didn't give us a study guide. I don't know how many questions it is. All I know is that it's a time test and I think I have like an hour and 30 minutes or something like that. So I have no clue what's going to be on this test. She just gave it to us. So I'm really hoping it's one of those tests where they're like, put your name on it and then, or they say like, read all the questions. And then like, when you go to like the last question or something, it says like, um, write your name at the top and turn it in and don't do anything. I'm really hoping it's a stupid test and it's like one question and it's like, how is your quarantine going? And then we just type that and we just get credit. That's my wildest fantasy and I know that's not gonna happen. So I just finished my psychology test and I got a 78% on the final and I originally had an 88 in the class so it brought my grade down to a 86%. So it did drop a little bit, but it's still an A. So now what I really need to focus on is my Spanish because I am behind and right now I have a D plus in Spanish. So I really, <laughs> I really need a B. But I don't think that's really possible, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to get a C, which is really disappointing. But I really, really want a B or above. So that's what I'm going to be working on for the next two weeks to try and get it higher than what it is. So I will see you when my next final is in like two weeks. Good morning. It is... Um, April the 6th at 11.06 a.m. and my speaking final exam is at 11.15 and I am so nervous it's not even funny. I feel so much anxiety right now it's so bad. Um, I'm just so nervous. The thing that makes me nervous is what if she asks me a question and I don't have an answer? And I'm just like, I, like what am I gonna say? Oh my god, that's, that's my biggest fear. So, I have like outlines. You're not gonna be able to see this. I have outlines of like what I could say. All of this, it's not much, but it's something. Okay, that's my outline. And what if she asked me a question that I haven't already wrote down and I don't know the answer to it? Like, oh my God, just the thought freaks me out. It is 11.08 and I am freaking out. I'm not, like, if she asks me questions that I already know the answer to, I'll be fine. I just have to read it off. But, oh my god, I'm so nervous. Oh god, it is so cold in here, too. Oof, it is cold. So, basically, we're doing it over, um, Big Blue Button. So, she said that you can't see each other, but you can hear each other. So that's great because I look horrible right now and I'm not trying to like look face to face with my teacher right now. I'm just so nervous. I'm so freezing. 
I can't even help it. It's so cold in my room. Okay. 11.09. The last night, I was up until 4 a.m. I wasn't doing homework the whole time. I stopped doing homework at like 3.40 something. So I was up to probably like 4 a.m. or more. And then I woke up at 7 a.m. today. And then I finished the rest of my um, outline. So it's supposed to be like I talk for three minutes. She talks for three minutes. I have five minutes. Oh my god. I remember doing this in high school when I had Spanish and oh my god I remember like it was just me and the teacher in the room and like no one else was in the room and I remember I don't think I said like anything I was so nervous that I feel like I didn't even say a word I'm so nervous golly someone would be cutting the grass why would you cut the grass right now, bruh? Like, are you kidding me? Hola, como estas? I'm- Oh, I can't. I have three minutes. Ugh. I had to go- I had to pee because like, oh my god. Whenever I get nervous, I have to pee. But yeah. After this, I'm pretty sure we have practice exam activities. I don't know if they account for a grade or not. And then we have our um, chapter 10 test. So then I'll be done with Spanish. Hopefully I get to see. I hate anxiety. And I know I say that weird. Anxiety. It's an anxiety. An anxiety. Anxiety. I don't even know how to say it the right way. That's, that's, that's a Michigan direction. Oh my god, I have one minute. I can't do this, bro. I literally can't do this. There's no way. Oh god, I'm so scared. I'm gonna cry. What if I cry, bro? Bro, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna fucking cry. Oh my god, I can't do this. I literally can't do this. I think what makes it worse is that I'm at my house. I'm scared. Should I join it? Oh my god, I'm so scared. It says there's one moderator and one viewer. Like, I don't want to, like, enter in during someone's exam. I can't do it, bro. I literally can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. There's no way I can't do this shit. Um, my god, I'm so scared. Should I join it? I don't know if someone's in there. I'm scared. Oh my god, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna join it. So, it's 11, like 31. And we got on the thing, and she was on the, what is it called? On the big blue button with the person before me and I was like am I supposed to be on here like should I say something <laughs> oh god so I was like she ended it and then I got back on it and then we did mine she got on and she was like do you want me to start it or do you want to start it see see I should have started it because that's what I wrote down in my notes okay you can't see it but that's what I wrote down in my notes. So I should have started it out. Because then, oh my god, it threw me off. <laughs> it threw me off. I did not ask her a single question. Did not ask her a single question. I was just responding. Oh my god. I was supposed to, um... Fuck. God, there was so much that I didn't do. I was supposed to like ask her questions and um, express reactions such as great or interesting or me too and when we were done or like follow up questions and um, I think I asked her like one maybe one question yeah I asked her one question god I was supposed to ask her multiple I'm so <laughs> it started out 
she says like hello how are you i said good how are you she says okay good and then she starts out with um like um like um whatever she says whatever party it is whatever god and then um she starts out with her routine i did not write a routine down i said when i arrived and that was it and for some reason i couldn't find it on my sheet so i just didn't say she's like should we go to the next one <laughs> yes please um, she asked me at the end how do i think i did and i was like not that good <laughs> like shit oh god she seemed surprised that i didn't think i did good but still i didn't ask any questions i probably gotta see let's be real i gotta see the only thing i left i have to do is a chapter 10 exam and then i'm done with spanish psychology teacher i had a b in the class and she put my grade up guess what grade she gave me this lady gave me a b she ain't curved it at all <laughs> she said you got a b so that's a b like curve my grade my computer class um i have to do like five chapters <laughs> That she opened up all at once so i have to do like five chapters and then i have to do the exam which i'm gonna do with my friend so that'll be fun the day that i worked was march 23rd and on that day i applied for unemployment and then i got denied i got denied like the same day and then like i did a claim and then I got denied, or actually I messed it up, and then I didn't get anything. And then I did it yesterday, and they approved me for unemployment. So I should be getting money in like two days. It is May 21st, and I've known my grades since the 19th, but I haven't filmed anything yet because I just have not felt like doing anything since quarantine started like two months ago. So um, I didn't film my computer class final. So on Tuesday, I had about 30 assignments left to do and they were they're like one to four questions, all of them. So I started doing them on Tuesday, which I thought was like the second to last day. And I told my friend, you know, we should do the final exam tomorrow because we were gonna do it together so she was like you know it's not it's due today which is tuesday and i was i thought it was due on wednesday so at like we literally started the final at like 11 at night we had like three or four different we had three different finals to do which was like probably like 150 questions it was a lot it was a lot to do so I was really stressed out, so I didn't want anything to do with it. I was really stressed out this finals week. It was really stressful. So for my computer class, I got an A, which I'm not surprised. I knew I was going to get an A. And then my psychology class, I got a B, which I really had a B the entire semester. So that doesn't surprise me either. But my Spanish class... We talked about it and um, I kept saying that I thought I was going to get a D and fail because it said like on the website I had like a 79 or something, I can't remember what it was, and it said that it was a D and I was like, that doesn't make any sense, but it was a D because we don't have C minus. I forgot what grade percentage it was, but we don't have C minus, so I got a 91 on our final exam which was literally shocking because I didn't do so well I mean I did all right but I wish I did better but I think she graded it very generously oh I think she graded it very generously because I did not deserve an A on that but somehow she gave me an A so I ended up with a B minus in that class so I got a 3.1 six nine for my winter semester which is the lowest that i've got in a while 
because like my first semester I got a 2.3 so it is better than my first semester but it's lower than I would have gotten in a while so my GPA was a 3.06 before this now my GPA is a 3.09 so it didn't really do much because I still have to retake that one class um, people are so loud <laughs> god I was planning on taking spring classes and I was planning on only taking one I'm like sticking to this chair because it's so hot in here and my hair has grown so much like look how long my hair is my hair is it's really hot in here okay so definitely needs a haircut after quarantine but anyways um so i was planning on taking spring classes and i was planning on taking psychology 254 in spring but then with this corona stuff they canceled spring semester and then they're doing like a, com a combined spring summer and they're just calling it summer so it's a little bit later so it starts in june and they move because that psychology class was fall or no that psychology class was spring only so that psychology class is spring only so when they got rid of spring they moved it to fall so then i still had to take a class everyone has such a loud car bro golly okay so when they moved it to fall, I took in I had to take it in the fall semester because I needed to graduate. So then I'm taking a stats class instead, which please pray for me. Like statistics, pray for me. So June 9th, I'm gonna be starting my summer semester. And that's for eight weeks, so it ends in like August something. And then for next semester, well, two semesters from now, fall, I was taking biology, lab, and lecture, and then that psychology class, and then world religion online. So I got an email saying that the psychology section that I need to take, they canceled it, and instead of that one that will be on campus in 15 weeks, was going to be there's another section that they opened up that is going to be eight weeks and it's going to be online only so i switched into that one and this is like third or fourth time that i've like a dropped a class and gotten into a new one because all this stuff is just crazy so now instead of taking a 15 week class online at least because i figured it would be online probably now they want me to take or now the, the only option is um, online for eight weeks, which is a lot shorter. And for psychology, you have to read a lot. So I don't know how in the world that's gonna work. But that was really my print. That that was really my plan originally to take it in the summer, because in the summer our semesters are only eight weeks long. So. I don't know what is gonna happen with my bio biology class because that I feel like you really have to be in the classroom because it's a it's a lab so it said on the website that there will be some online and some in the building so I don't know if I'm gonna take that it I really don't know yet so we'll just have to wait and see so I also finally got an unemployment. So they gave me all of this back pay and this is crazy because I'm literally making more money on unemployment than I was at my actual job. Like I'm making almost two times as much. So that stuff is really crazy to me. So I got back pay for like almost two months because I stopped working um, March 23rd. So from March 23rd to whenever I got it, I got all the back pay. That stuff is crazy <laughs> to me. So 
I did finally get on unemployment, but I got a text from my job y yesterday that they want us to go back June 1st, and I didn't respond because I was like, I don't want to go back, because, like, to me, I think it's fact that it's going to get worse once we start reopening, because there's no vaccine, there's really not a cure, it's gonna get worse. More people are gonna be outside, so it's gonna get worse. So I didn't respond to my GM, and like within five minutes, she was like, well, I have to um, report anyone to HR who refuses to come back. And it's like, what? So basically, um, I'm gonna be forced to go back to work eventually, because if I say I'm not coming back, they're gonna A, fire me, or B, say that I quit, and then I can't get un any unemployment at all. So basically then I'm screwed. But today, there was another text from her saying that they pushed it back to June 6th or June 8th or something like that. So it's not much of a pushback but it's something, so I might eventually be going back to work, and she said that we're going to have limited hours, because I actually work in the airport, so we're going to have limited hours, because not many passengers are coming through the airport, so it's going to be open from like 10 to 10, I don't know, something like that, so I said like, I just want to be there as early as I can so I can get out of there as early as I can. So I asked her, like, um, like when are we going to be open, how many hours do I have to work, and she said only two or three days for like four or five hours. So it's not as bad as working like 30 hours a week, but it's not as good as being home and away from people who could possibly be bringing this virus around. She said on top of that, um, you can collect 600 a month for um, underemployment, whatever. I don't really want that. <laughs> like, I would just like to be home and not working around people that could possibly give me the virus and then I bring it home to my family and then just a whole mess. So, that's... I think pretty much all I am going to be trying to get back on more of a schedule and I've been saying this for a long time but I want to try to start working out and I'll probably post a video about it and then um, I also saw something online there's like people have probably seen this but like poly gel nails where you can do them yourself I want to try to do that because I'm cheap, okay? So if I can do that on my own and just learn how to do it, I would love to do that. And then just every once in a while just get my nails done. But I feel like that'd be so cool to know how to do because then I could like do it for my family members. Like I could do it for my sister and my friends. And I feel like that'd be cool. So I really want to try that out. I think that's all I really have to say because I haven't posted a video in like two months because like I don't have anything to do so there's like nothing interesting that I can do like I'm not going to work I can't vlog anything because I'm just like sitting on my ass doing nothing so I'll definitely be posting this video obviously and then I'll start vlogging my spring semester like the first week and then maybe I'll do like a midweek midterm because it's not even that long it's like eight weeks <laughs> um and then a poly gel nail video and then a workout video i'll probably do two of those like starting and like buying workout clothes and then like an update in like a month or two so this video probably looks so ugly because the lighting is just so bad because i just don't have any motivation i <laughs> It's going to be so embarrassing watching this back because I was so stressed out before my Spanish final and the lighting was just really bad. It's bad right now. It's going to be bad for a while. 
so thank you for watching this horrible video and hopefully i will have more videos so thank you for watching this video this is always really awkward so i'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet um so hopefully i will get back on track and start doing things and taking better care of myself and everything like that because i'm struggling this video, this entire video, has bad lighting. I was very stressed out. I probably look like an idiot, but um, hopefully I can get this up tomorrow. And thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And please watch one of my semi-better videos.